All around us are signs and symbols that are pronouncing detailed and distinct messages which can be heard if one is able to discern and decode what the signs and symbols are truly telling us. With one word and one symbol, we can begin to decipher a very profound yet disturbing message that is being sent to anyone who is concerned with the shaping of what has been called reality. The word that we will look at concerns the banking system and the main medium used in the energetic transactions of commerce. The term capital is by definition an asset that is available for use in the production of further assets. Capital is also synonymous with the word money, which is the asset that is either available or not available to produce more money. A capital letter is also one that is written in uppercase, which is why all business and commerce is dealt with in names spelled with all capital letters. That is a fundamental law of the sea, and if any bank should try and proceed with a transaction through something other than a business name that is spelled in all capital letters, they would be breaking this commercial law. The etymology of capital is derived from the Latin capitalum, for small head, top of a column, as linked with the diminutive Latin prefix capit, and noun caput, meaning head, mind, judgment, source, chapter. Everything is a construct of the mind, which is the source of all matter, and everything else that matters. More needs to be discerned to understand the symbolism that is being presented. If we look at the English word cattle, it is shown to be derived from the Anglo-French châtel, meaning personal property, which was from the medieval Latin capitale, meaning property, capital crime. It is being symbolized through money that humans are seen as cattle or chattel property, whereby chattel are personal and movable possessions, with the term being synonymous with slave and bondsman. The external symbol that the banks of the world have used in reflection to this is the cattle corral waiting lines, whereby the customers are pushed through the queue to give or receive their mental payment, which is why the suffix of ment, which is short form for mental, is used at the end of pay, indicating once again that this is a mental construct. Once the timer reaches zero, one needs to remit their pay mental, seeing that timer spelled backwards is remit. That timer is reached at the end of one's life, which is what the symbol of the waiting queue is also pointing out, with the French que being translated as stock, stem, which is the stock of our spine, where we are the prey that are being stalked. This is based on the cycle of regeneration, seeing that the English queue translates into the Italian word coda, and a coda in music is the closing section of a musical composition. Coda in Latin means tail, penis, since the end of the composition means that the chattel property are pushed through the stalk of the spine, because we are the phonetic stalk being ushered through the queue that are sold in runs on the stock market. There are bank runs and cattle runs, formed from the capital head, which are the head of cattle. The links are always synonymous with each other, because the symbols are intentional.
This is where we reach the terminal of our existence, because this operation relies on insistence to keep the cycle flowing. A terminal is the station where passengers or goods are unloaded from various transport vehicles, and this includes all of us as passengers of this reality that are loaded and unloaded by the transport vehicles in the sea of space in the much larger game of commerce that is occurring, which basically no one has a clue is taking place all around us. The airports of the world love to use the cattle corral symbol as well, in reflection to this truth, and in adoration to the god of boundaries, which is shown in the related Latin word terminal, meaning god of boundaries, a festival celebrated on February 23rd. This is a celebration of the Saturn-Jupiter relationship, because by Jove, one either gets these concepts, or one does not.